Hey, what's up guys? It's JC from the Little Gotham Fan. And today I will be showing you how to make my very famous potato nachos. Let's get started. Okay, so the ingredients we're gonna be using today are five medium potatoes, just because we are a family of four. We're gonna be using half a tablespoon of garlic paste. We're gonna be using a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. You can use more, it depends on how you're feeling. And this is one of my secrets. It's, uh, it's a total seasoning, it has a little bit of everything. Gives the, the food a good taste. Then we move over here. We have one long stem of chives, cut up in little pieces. We have about a cup of chopped up tomatoes. We have about, we got about a half a cup of green peppers chopped up, half a cup of white onions chopped up. Then we got here, here's the, the, the hard part. We have chili. Normally I make my own, but today I have, I'm a little lazy. I'm gonna be using Hormel chili, hot with beans. You know, I add a little spice to that. And I'm being fancy. You know, normally when you buy a sour cream at a store, it comes in that little can and it's hard to whip up with a spoon. I use my little gadget. Press it, nice and smooth, comes out beautiful. About three quarter cups of sharp cheddar cheese, shredded, and some olive oil. All right, now let me show you how it's done. Oh wait, I forgot the most important ingredient, my beer. I don't know why, but when I drink beer, food tastes better. Okay, so I like to take my potatoes and run them under medium water for about a minute. These are already washed. I'm just gonna show you a demonstration. I normally take the back side of my sponge and just rub them. Rub them down, take a little bit more of the dirt off. These are already clean, I'm just showing you how it's done. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna take the potato, cut it in half, cut it in half again, make sure you don't get cut, and now cut them into little squares, or trans, whatever come up. You're gonna do, do the same thing to all of them. You're gonna cut them in half, cut them in half again, and then triangle, square, rectangle, whatever you call it. Just remember, make sure you don't get cut. All right, guys, I'm gonna have my stove at medium heat. Bring my saucepan. It's about a 12 inch saucepan. And I'm gonna add my olive oil. All right guys, I add my garlic to my heating oil as a little, one of my little tricks. And stir it in, stir it in. Now that the oil is a little warm, we're gonna add the onions and the peppers. Let them heat up there just for about 45 to a minute. Okay guys, now that my peppers and onions are starting to brownish a little bit, we're gonna add the potatoes. This pan, I don't have the cover to it, so I'm gonna improvise. Use a little bit bigger cover, but it should work. All right, guys, it's been seven minutes. Let's take the lid off and give it a little twist. All right, guys, now that we have stirred it for a while, we're gonna put the lid back on for another seven minutes. We're gonna do this about three, four times. Just remember guys, all stoves are different. Make sure your heat is at a volume where it's not gonna burn the potatoes. All right, we're gonna cover it now for another seven minutes and we'll be back.
At this moment, wow, smells good. At this moment, we're gonna add salt, pepper, total seasoning. Mark, you can add this at any time. I add it at my second time stirring. Here we go. Remember guys, add as much as you want. I just like to keep it down on the salt and pepper. That should be good. So let's cover it up again for another eight to 10 minutes. And I think we should be good from there. While the potatoes are cooking for their last 10 minutes, don't forget to warm up that chili. Okay guys, our potatoes should be all done. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, you can't really see the onions and the peppers. I cut them real small because my kids don't like seeing them in the food. But those of you who like onions and peppers, you can leave them a little bigger. Makes the plate look a lot more nicer. Okay, so now let's go to my favorite part of the dish decorating that plate. So now I have my potatoes cooling down for a little bit in my fancy little tray. And then we'll take it from there. All right guys, these are nachos, so you can't leave nachos out of this plate. Decoration purposes only. Okay, little Gotham fam. I start decorating my plate by adding on this delicious hot Hormel chili. Add on some tomatoes. This is where I'm an expert at, decoration. All right, next ingredient, my beer. continue by adding on this nice sharp cheddar cheese melt it a little but we can work with that now we follow with my special gadget my nice sour cream there we go I should be a chef in my second life Decoration purposes only, shops. I mean, they do taste good, but. So there you have it, finishing plate. If you like this recipe, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.